What's up, guys? So, um, thanks to Wrestle Talk for putting out the list of matches from night one and night two. We're gonna do night one first, and then I'll do another video for night two. Uh, so Triple H has confirmed the following card for WrestleMania night one. So definitely go follow Wrestle Talk guys on Twitter, and you can also follow them on YouTube. So let's start with the first match. Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns and The Rock. 100% Roman Reigns and The Rock win. There's no reason for Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes to win this match. There's absolutely no reason. And it makes the bloodline rules for night two, which means you have people that can help uh, Cody Rhodes or people that can help Roman Reigns, uh, which makes sense for night two. For night two. Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch. I have a feeling Becky Lynch is going to win. But I do not want her to win. I think she's boring as hell. She's not entertaining. She's just fucking boring. Rhea Ripley should win. And keep the title. I don't think that's going to happen. But yeah. Yeah. Boring Becky Lynch will probably win the title. Gunther versus Sami Zayn. I think Sami Zayn wins this match. I just have a feeling that Gunther's going to lose and Sami Zayn's going to win this match. But I also think this is where Damian Priest cashes in the money in the bank. And people are going to be like, no, he's going to cash in against Seth Rollins. I, I just don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. I think he cashes in on Sami Zayn after Gunther beats the crap out of Sami Zayn after the match. So Gunther loses to Sami and then destroys Sami after the match. And this is where Damian Priest cashes in the money in the bank on Sami Zayn. Damian Priest leaves with the Intercontinental title. That's what I think happens. Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso. I think you build this match till uh, SummerSlam. So you don't end it at WrestleMania. Or you get a clear victory here uh, by Jimmy. Now, why Jimmy? Because it makes more sense for Jimmy to win. Than it does Jay. Jay's over with the fans. Like, he's super popular with the fans. Jimmy's never really been over with the fans, except when he's with Jay as a tag team. If you're going to make Jimmy a heel and stay a heel, you need to have him get a win here. It just makes sense for him to get the win. The six pack tag team ladder match. So, I have three. Uh, wins here. Let me explain. So, there apparently in this match, uh, both titles are going to be on the line separately. So, the Raw titles and the SmackDown titles are both going to be hanging above the ring. But when you when a team grabs one of the belts, then the match starts for the other belt. So, I'm assuming once one team grabs a belt, that team's no longer in the match anymore. And then they move on to the other five people, the five tag teams. And then the next team that grabs the other belts wins them titles. That way they can split the titles up. If that's what's actually happening, because that's what people are saying. So, if that is what is going down, what I think will happen is... Uh, New Day... Or not New Day, but... Uh, Judgment Day uh, retains one of the titles and R-Truth and The Miz win the other titles. If all the titles are staying as one title still and the tag team champion is going to have both titles still, I think R-Truth and The Miz win the match. That's just what I think happens in this match. Jade Cargill, Naomi, Bianca Belair versus Dakota Kai, Kyrie Sane, and Asuka. 
th this is pretty much an obvious win. They're not going to have Jade lose her first match. Uh, I think Naomi... Like, the only way Jade loses this match, and this is the only possibility I see where she could lose this match, is Bianca Belair turns on Naomi. They've kind of been hinting at that a little bit uh, going into WrestleMania. So if Bianca Belair turns on Naomi, then there's a possibility Jade Cargill loses her first match. I just don't think that happens. So I'm going to go with Jade Cargill, Naomi, and Bianca Belair to win the match. Maybe leave some tension between Naomi and Bianca Belair. That could lead to a match at SummerSlam. Something along the lines that lead to them guys having a, a feud into SummerSlam. Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee versus San, Santos Escobar and Dominic Mysterio. This is a pointless match in my opinion. They just threw this on there to have a match. That, that's what they did. Like, Dominic Mysterio didn't have a match for WrestleMania, so they just threw this together so that he'd have a match. I really don't care who wins this match. I'm not invested in this match. I just don't care. Uh... I think Santos Escobar and Dominic Mysterio win because Rey Mysterio won last year at WrestleMania. So Dominic gets to win this year. Uh, then you have a, a match next year at WrestleMania between Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio and make it a winner leaves the WWE match and have Dominic Mysterio beat Rey Mysterio and Rey Mysterio retire next year because he said he's in the... He's going to retire soon. So I think you get one more year of Rey Mysterio. You have him get beat by Dominic Mysterio at next year's WrestleMania. And, uh, yeah, I think that's the route you'd go in with this. But there you go. That's my picks. Like I say, go check out Wrestle Talk on Twitter. And you can also check them out on YouTube, guys. Thank them for uh, putting this list out. And definitely go check out Night 2's after this.